Hi, my name is Adam Barger and I want to be the first to congratulate you for choosing Web Starts. In this video, I'm going to cover a few of the basic things you need to know to get started building your very own custom website. Now, after signing up or logging into your account, the first page you will see is the one displayed here. We call this the dashboard. The dashboard is a central location for your most important account functions. There are a couple of important things that I would like you to notice about the dashboard. One is the Add Domain button. That's where you're going to add a domain name to your website so you can have your very own .com, .net, or .org URL. Secondly is the link to your site. You can view what your site looks like live online right now by clicking on this link here. The third thing is that all the pages of your website are listed in this section called My Pages. Now let's jump in and start editing some of those pages. To do that, all I need to do is click on the small pencil icon or click this Edit Website icon or the Edit Site tab. I'm going to click the Edit Site tab and you'll notice what we call the Page Editor will load. Looking at the page editor, I see that there are several tools that can help me design a unique looking web page. I'm going to start out by covering how to use text. So to add text to your web page, all you have to do is click on the add text icon. You can click here or you can click here and choose from a few different types of text boxes. Now all the objects that appear on Web Starts can be clicked and then dragged and dropped wherever you would like them to appear. So I've clicked and dragged this text box to the location where I would like it to appear. Now I can double click in this text box and I can select the text and hit the backspace key on my keyboard in order to delete it. I can start typing new text and replacing what was already there. Now, let's say I want to change the font style of this text. All I need to do is highlight the text, go up to my toolbar, and choose my font style from the drop-down menu. For this example, I'm going to choose Century Gothic, and you can see that it was quickly applied. Now, the same thing happens if I want to change the size. I highlight the text, and then I choose the size of the text. And likewise, again, going to select all the text and I'm going to click on the foreground color icon and for this example I'm going to change the text to blue. You can also do things like change the formatting of the text. So I can apply bold, italic, and underline. I can justify my text to the left, center, and right as well. I can even use bullets and numbering. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with text on Web Start. Next, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your web page. All you need to do is click on the Add Image icon. You will see this window load, and it includes all the images that are already uploaded and available for your website. We call this view the File Manager. When you click on Upload Files from your computer, you will then be able to select the file to upload from your computer. I've chosen this photo of baseballs and now I'm being prompted to ask if I would like to resize it. I'm going to choose the option to yes, resize it. Because my photo was very large, I want it to appear in a size that will fit nicely on my web page. I then double click on my photo and you can see it's still quite large, but it's now on my web page. I can resize my photo or any text box or any object by grabbing the handles and dragging them towards center. You can see that now my image is a lot smaller, but it's kept its proportions. Anytime you want to delete something from a page, it's simple. You just click on it, and you can then hit the delete key on your keyboard, or you can click the red X located in the upper left-hand corner. Listen closely to this helpful tip. Anytime that you select an object, 
you know that you can click and hold down your mouse cursor in order to drag it and then drop it where you'd like it to appear. But did you know you can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move an object one pixel at a time in any direction? You can also move your objects 10 pixels at a time by holding down the shift key and pressing the arrow key in the direction you would like to move your object. Creating a new web page is easy. Now a few tips about creating pages. One is once you've got the general look of a page done, it's very helpful to make copies of that page and then just make slight changes to the page. Now to create a new page, just click the new page icon in the upper left hand corner of the toolbar. Once you've selected that, choose the option to copy from an existing page if you don't want to have to create everything from scratch again. If you just want a blank canvas, choose blank page. For this example, I'm going to make a copy of the home page and I'm going to call this page products. And as soon as I click create page, you're going to notice a couple of things. One is that the products page was added to my navigation menu automatically. The second thing is that I've made an identical copy now of my home page, but you can see in the upper left hand corner where you select the pages to edit of your website that the name of the page is now products. Another trick I use to make building the website easy is I click on objects that I would like to copy and then just edit. So for example, if I just want to copy this text box and move it over to the right, I just select it and hit the copy icon on the key on the toolbar and then I hit the paste icon. It's then made a copy of my text box and I can drag that over here and then double click in there and begin typing text. Don't forget anytime you can save the changes to your page and publish them to the internet by clicking the save icon. And you can view those changes at any time by clicking the view icon. Now I've talked a little bit about the navigation menu, but let me show you a little bit more. Maybe you want your pages to show in a different order, for example, on the navigation menu. Or maybe on some pages you don't want there to be a menu at all, or on other pages you just want to remove certain pages from appearing on the menu. You can do all those things by clicking on your dashboard link and going back out to your dashboard. Locate your pages and here you can see that by dragging and dropping you can actually change your page order as it appears on the menu. You can also click the yes to no to show a particular page on the menu. So right now if I click to view that page you can see the products page no longer appears on the menu. I can also choose to re remove the menu completely by clicking the yes to no. And if I go back you'll see now none of the links appear on my menu. I can always change those back by clicking the no to yes. Now once you've done all the changes that you would like to do to the website and you want to get it online click the add domain link here's where you choose the domain name that you want to use for your website. So for example, I'm going to choose Adam's very own custom website.com. And once you click check availability, you'll see if that domain name is available. And of course, Adam's very own custom website.com is available. So if you want to use that, you click continue. At this point, you'll be asked to upgrade to one of our Pro or Pro Plus accounts. If you're the type of person who's serious about your website, you'll want to upgrade to either our Pro or Pro Plus account. You can do that at any time by clicking the Upgrade Now button found on the dashboard. Our Pro Plus account comes with everything you need for a successful online business presence. It includes a domain name, and we even submit your website to search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and give you $300 in free advertising. So the upgrade pays for itself. I hope that you enjoyed this getting started video, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us at 1-800-805-0920 or send us an email 
to support at webstarts.com.